Years ago, the motto of Ford Motor Company that was advertised was quality is job one. If we were going to say, okay, let's boil it down to Christianity. What is job one, Christianity speaking? I have an idea somebody might say, well, you know, Old Testament wise, New Testament wise, you know, I think it'd be fear God, keep his commandments, or, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Kind of combine those two and you got it. That's job one, Christianity. Somebody else might say, well, I tell you what looks like is job one, Christianity. Going to church on Sunday. Because, you know, if I would take the majority of Christians and say, I, I, here's what I see Christianity representing in their life, that's what I see more than anything else. They go to church on Sunday. But if we were going to take our Bible and say, is, is there a job one? Well, I'd kind of take a step back and say, wait a minute. If we're going to say job one to the extent that I could then overlook job two, three, four, and five. No. I can't ignore what God tells me. Place one so high that I subjugate the others as if they're not important. Now I'm going to say but. But. I find it very interesting. The last thing Jesus said to his disciples before he was ascended into heaven. Now somebody might say, well, uh, the Holy Spirit's coming. Eh, that's part of it. Go and you wait in Jerusalem to be endued with that power of the Holy Spirit. Eh, yes, that's part of it. But I tell you, the root of it, you go to Mark 16, 15, and 16. Uh, Matthew 28, 19, and 20. Luke 24, 44 through 47, 48. It was the Great Commission. It was evangelism. It was go, teach, preach. And, and on that basis, if I were to try to come up with a, what's job one? I, I'd almost say evangelism. Like I say, we need to be careful. I can't champion a command and subjugate the others to relative unimportance. Can't do that. But yet, one thing that's so most overlooked, a commandment that's most ignored, was one of the very last things he was saying to his disciples. You go teach, you go preach. Let's be better about it. By the way, May 18th, is Saturday, it's about a week and a half away, there is a, a soul-saving seminar. It's just kind of a little west of Birmingham. It's an all-day thing. Be a truly all-day thing going from here and then coming back. Uh, the speaker, though, I've heard. He's excellent. It'll be great motivation and information and instruction on the subject. If we could assist you in your obedience tonight, baptism, need for prayer, please come as we stand and sing.